Here you go, champ. Slogan. There's something going down under the bridge. Jumper. Jumper? If she was, she hit the water so hard it blew her hands off. How's she feel? She's fresh. She's not stiff yet. Bell duck, second squad. Logan, one, two, a. How's life in the country? Very green. Guys, I need a jurisdiction of determination here. Hey, how about we flip for it? went in the river off Manhattan. Trust me, you can dump this on them. Hey, Barbara says she went in the water off New Dorm. I guess it's our case. I guess so. Nice catch, Logan. Bon appetit. We're out of here. What the hell was that about? Opportunity knock. jumper. Well, give it to Frankie Silvera. Frankie Silvera? This is my case. I caught this case. Logan, look, the chief tells me what to do, and I tell you what to do, okay? Now, what I'm telling you to do is to go out there and check your little basket and get your assignment and type up a DD-5 and give it to Frankie Silvera. Now. Bye-bye. Probably a hooker. It's a misdemeanor murder. You ought to let me run with it. Yeah, but it's a homicide. You don't do homicides anymore. You know how many homicides I've worked? In Manhattan. This happens to be Staten Island. Believe me, I know the difference. Hey, you want to get back to Manhattan? Be my guest. I don't want anybody around here who doesn't want to be here. And all I'm saying is putting me on domestics is not the best use of my abilities. Logan, just be patient, OK? A domestic is just a homicide waiting to happen. How many times have we been up there? This time Prince Charming has a baseball bet, says he's gonna pay us for skull in. Hey, Mike. The truth is you're lucky to still be on the job after what you did. God almighty, you punched out a city councilman on camera. Pop somebody. You don't do it on a courthouse steps in front of a hundred witnesses. Come on, beat me up, stud. There! Oh, get up, you weasel! Come on, get up! Please, detective. Can't you just just talk to him? You yeah, know, I'm sorry. I... You're gonna I have to take him down to the precinct, you know, something like you this. You know, he not... really doesn't mean to be like this. I mean, I it's really all my fault. I mean, I, I made I just... breakfast wrong this morning. Can you uh, excuse me for just one second? Boyer! Oh. Boyer! What are you doing? Oh. What are you, crazy? No. Oh, man, what's the matter? Stop, Stop it! Oh. oh, God. Hey, 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 cool off! Come on! That's enough! That is enough! Are you guys all right? I'm gonna shoot you. Hear that, huh? Hey! Hey! Hey, he beat me up. And then he... He went after him. They're, they're both crazy. Uh, get in there. You're my lawyer. Shut hey, hey, hey. My office. 
I'm gonna play this. Hey Schroeder, you want to make detective someday, don't you? So? Oh, well, the guy jumped Boyer. It's assault. What he hit you with his face? Schroeder? Guy was all pumped up. Next thing I know, he's punching Detective Boyer. Another brick in the old blue wall. Ah, Logan and Boyer. Well, as of today, you two are through as partners. Get the hell out of here. Okay. Both pick code 26, aren't we? You got it. What happened to you? Saturday afternoon, right? My husband left the lawn mower in the driveway. Weapon now, was just, uh, a black a raven. Second. You know, I think that little belly gun. Kind of yeah, found yeah. it in the field. Detective. No prints. Hello, detective. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, that was 2 p.m. Right? Yeah. Okay. I got this down. You see that kid around again? Just give me a bus. Okay. Hi. <clears throat> nice. I don't know whether you know this or not, but uh, in one year, I don't know, to wreck that in 49 weeks, I'm going to retire. And I've decided not to spend that time bashing heads with you. Instead, I'm going to take advantage of your vast knowledge of um, homicide. I'm putting uh, Boyer with Silvera's partner, Donch, and I'm teaming you with Silvera. You got your, your homicide. <sighs> what? Thanks. Yeah, just don't hit anybody, okay? I mean, after all, you're the one who called it a... Uh, misdemeanor murder? Misdemeanor murder. Right, right. Just give it. Three days and then into the draw. Hey, Frankie. I guess you heard, huh? You know what, Logan? I need to cut to the chase here. I know a lot of guys don't want to team up with a woman. I've had four partners in the last five years. Well, there you go. We got something in common. None of mine got shot. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? You're absolutely right. I don't know. What I do know. You've been here three years, and you and I have never even had coffee together. I'm shy. Look, I pull my own weight. All I expect out of you is that you do the same so I can go home at night. Are you done? Yeah. I don't care who I'm teamed with. Man, woman, zebra, grasshopper. I just want to close this case. OK? Sure. Missing persons turn up anything? Nope. Check out the body? Not yet. Spent all day looking for it. Staten Island Emmy's out sick, so 20 phone calls later, I find out the body's in transit to the Emmy's office in Manhattan. You got a problem with Manhattan? Why would I? It's just that we could be spending a lot of time there. How you figure? Harbor said the body probably went in the water off Manhattan. Wait a minute, I read your DD-5. You said, Harbor said, it went in off a of new door. I lied. Excuse me? I lied. I didn't want Manhattan to get the case. You got a problem with that? 
You know what, Logan? I got a problem sitting in traffic trying to get home to my kid. Other than that, I don't have any problems. Incised wounds from here to here. Both of them must have bled out at the scene. Both? Fetus, 12 weeks. Knife wounds are concentrated at and around the womb. Could be the killer knew she was pregnant. Hell of a way to get an abortion. Best guess, Cinderella was dead by midnight. Technicolor tox scan, Valium, Zoloft, traces of heroin, cocaine. Not to mention the little critters swimming around in her. Hepatitis B, syphilis, HIV. Ever tell you photography's my hobby? I specialize in dead nudes. You're very good. Hey, guys. I got a storage problem. Another week and she's out of here in a box. together last February. Valentine's Day. Ain't love grand, baby. All right. So we got a date, February 14th. That narrows it down. Mm -hmm. Let's check vice enforcement, prostitution bus, front bus, the whole thing. Hey, hey, hey! I'm tonight. It's quitting time, Logan. I got a babysitter at home racking up six bucks an hour. What about your husband? What about him? Well, let him do it. I'm separated. Oh. What's the matter? You couldn't take the hours? I said I cared more about the dead than the living. Well, there you go. We got something else in common. Yeah? You don't have a kid. See you in the morning. Every Feb 14, Lieutenant gets crazy because he doesn't have a date. So I send the guys out to find some prospects. We just check their IDs, give them desk tickets, and release them. No Polaroids? Hey, it's Valentine's Day. You don't want to bust their balls. She one of them? Sorry. The guys brought in what? Like 30, 40 process that day. All right, let's print up the list of desk tickets. We're going to check the names and see if they've got other prostitution arrests. Her street name was Jasmine. Now, does that ring a bell? Jasmine, yeah. So do Buttercup and Pussy Willow, two other favorites. Number 22. This is not her. Keep going. Hold that, hold that. That's our girl. Suzanne Taylor, 678 West 43rd Street. Place like home, huh? With or without clothes. Look at that. Dance Theater of Harlem. Sorry to bother you. You know this girl? Yeah, sure. She's over there.
difficult, so if you want to contact anybody, you want us to contact anybody. I'm all right. Um, I'm okay. 10 five, 10 five, Rogers, this is George Ann Taylor. you know, as a novelty twins in a course line. And then Suzanne started getting work on her own. She was a better dancer than me. One day last summer, she came to my house. Hi. We swore we would never do drugs. No dancers. Our bodies are temples. <laughs> uh, she had been working in a new musical, but they had fired her because she missed curtain twice in a week. And then that's when she started dancing at this topless bar. Do you remember the name of the place? No. Did she ever mention a boyfriend, anybody that she had a steady relationship with? Oh, no, she, there were always guys around Suzanne. Lots of guys. No, one guy more than others, nobody she talked about. Uh, no, no, why? Your sister was 12 weeks pregnant. Last time that I saw her, it was at this place that she used to always go in the meat district, um, Hector's. And, um, there was a guy there with her. Um, you know, uh, acting like he owned her. Mm -hmm. so you get a look at him? Was he black? Was he white? Hispanic? Or... He was black. Um,. Everybody knew him. What'd they call him? Kingston. Hey. Kingston. What's up, bitch? You lost your damn mind? What you think? You're taking a coffee Kingston, break? You heard Aren't you a me. secretary now? Kingston, step back. I want to talk to you. Step back, Let's take a walk. Hey. What you knew around here? They stopped selling donuts in your precinct? I heard the donuts here were better. You heard wrong. They don't sell donuts and they don't serve cops. You know, uh, smoking in restaurants is illegal. You know that, don't you? That's Cohiba, man. That's $30 a stick. Yeah, but if you're smoking it, Gotta be counterfeit. Come on, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. So, Kingston, you remember Jasmine, don't you? Yeah, what about her? She's very dead. That's what I killed her? But it's some black thing? I don't know. It could be. I mean, I got nobody else to hang on. I might as well hang it on you, right? You should just get out of my face, cracker. <laughs> cracker? Oh, that's right. I'm a racist cop and you're a pimp. Let's play this game. I'm gonna ask you some questions. You're gonna deny everything. I'm gonna get tough on you. Then we're gonna play our game some more. And I'm... Look, the hoe turned some tricks for me, okay? I heard she worked at some strip bars. That's where you get your girls, isn't it? It's a legal me. search. That's right, a legal search. Stockton, Seymour. Seymour? So where's she dance, Seymour? You might as well tell me. I'm going to find out eventually. The catwalk. Can I have my wallet, man? Catwalk. Well, well, well. You know what? I'm not talking to you no more until I get my lawyer, OK? Hey. Oh. Are we back to our little drama? No, I'm gonna ask you, you got something to hide? And I'm gonna tell you, I have nothing to hide, and you got nothing on me. Yet. But you don't come talk to me. I'm gonna shut you down. 
I'm going to put a cop on every one of those corners, every morning, every day, every night, all day, every day. Whatever. I'll see more. Believe me, I'll do it. You barking up the wrong tree anyway, man. I ain't no killer. I'm a lover, man. I'm just getting my paper. <laughs> okay, then you come talk to me tomorrow night. Nine o'clock, Superfly. You'll be there. Because until I find somebody else to uh, hang this on, you're number one on my hip parade. Why you always sweating the brother, man? I could hook you up, man. Trippy, you don't know nothing about this, man. This is pimping, man. For life, fool. Get to work, man! Man, that feels all wrong to me. I mean, he marches in the first place we look for him, smacks a prostitute. That's an awful high profile for a guy that just gutted somebody. Girl worked at the catwalk? Yeah. Let's check it out. What, you don't like bare breasts? It's happy hour. The place will be jammed. You know the place? I know the catwalk. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in the 27, my old precinct. That's my treat. Oh, sure, if you're buying. Go get her, tiger. <clears throat> so, you guys, narcs, vice, cops love this place. <laughs> we are cops, and we love this place, don't we, Frankie? Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 hey, 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 you know what? Why don't you have a seat? Put those away. She's just getting started. Tuck it in. Sit down. You know a girl used to work here called herself Jasmine? Jasmine, sure. Well, fill us in. Nice girl, you know. She always attracted the creeps. She attracted a creep named Kingston? How'd you know? Kingston always had a couple of grams on him. That's how he turned the girls out. Made him whores, coke whores, crack whores. So, what's up with Jasmine? She's not working for Kingston again, is she? No, no, actually, she's dead. Look, my friend, she's not dancing. Let her go. Are you taking up her time? Yeah, well, we paid for her time. Well, your time is up. No, says who? Says me. You know, you, you just pushed a New York City detective jerk off. Now we want to talk to your boss. Hey Johnny, I got a couple of cops. In fact, that Mike Logan is my partner. Frankie Silver. Peter, come on. I can't believe it. We used to go to school together on Staten Island. I used to fill it up when we was kids. Now you're a cop. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, you know, Gianni, crap like you is why I became a cop. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, when you get tired of playing cop, maybe you want to dance. Give me a call. I right? dance in here and be on your head. Are you coming to my place making trouble? Oh, there's no trouble. We're just talking to one of your girls. They talk. Do you know these girls could talk? Yeah, this one called herself Jasmine. Jasmine? Do you know these girls have names? We just call them Pig 1, Pig 2, Pig 3. Pig 4. You know her? Pig's a pig. They all look the same. What's different about this one? She's dead. A dead pig? I call that pork. Now this, this I call USDA Prime. Hey, Johnny, who's squealing now? This is private property. You come back here, you bring a warrant. Okay. That's the son of Giancarlo Uccielli. No wonder the mob's in trouble. Cops come in from Staten Island. Forget about it. You ought to be taught some manners. Well, what's his name, Logan? Now, imagine my surprise. I come in this morning, and that's what I hear. And I'm thinking, Logan? Now, that can't be Mike Logan, can it? And then I remember all those years that you made me nuts in the head, and I'm thinking to myself, of course it is. What can I tell you? I'm working on homicide. Really? Only one? See, because I'm trying to nail old man Uzielli on 15 counts of murder. It took me six months to get a discreet bug in there, Mike. It took you six minutes to silence it. The old man's been doing a lot of his Manhattan business in the club lately. But after your little lap dance with Gianni, maybe he stays away. Well, I mean, that's your department, not mine. Look, I'm not talking to you as a cop right now. As your buddy, I'm telling you to maybe not do your job so well. 
You know what I'm saying? What are you saying? I'm saying that you're not seeing the whole picture. Yeah, I am. Wise guy. So what? There's more to it. There's something else. Speak English, Donnie. Shouldn't be no cops coming in here. Your father pays good money for privacy. My father? Forget my father. He's lost it. All he wants to do is sit around in that mausoleum he lives in or go bowling. Hey, I'll handle this. We own a cop, right? Well, if he doesn't keep that dick from Staten Island out of here, we're gonna own a dead cop. You understand me? There's a fox in the hen house, and now internal affairs is all over me. Which hen house are you talking about? Where's Catwalk? When the 2-7 was mine, it was clean. Who is he? I don't know. All I got on the tape are references to the cop. Let the cop in the 2-7 fix it, stuff like that. Whoever he is, he's sleeping with the Uzielis. I tell you, the last thing I want to do is go back to my own house, bust a cop. Hell, I was half tempted to lose the tape. Well, unless he's got something to do with my case, a dirty cop's not my business. Dirty cop is like a skunk. You get too close, you start to smell. You keep poking at Gianni Uzielli, and you are going to come up with an awful bad odor. That's a chance I'm going to have to take. Mike, remember, Serpico got shot in the face. That the stuff from the girls' apartment? Yeah, crime scene unit just dropped it off. Nothing but junk. They always have a Bible, these girls. And a little crucifix. CSU checked the place. There's no sign of blood, so she wasn't killed there. And I ran Kingston, stocked in Seymour Horatio. Promoting prostitution, assault and battery, possession of narcotics, blah, blah, blah. But he seems to be a creature of habit. Busted about a dozen times at some hotel called the Keller. The Keller? I know the Keller. Yeah, let me guess. The 27? I, um, I spoke to George Ann Taylor. She's willing to look at mugshots. Said she'd seen a couple of her sister's dates. So, guess the 27's as good a place as any to look at mugs. Ready for a reunion? How are they treating you in the Lesser Antilles? Oh, all that sunshine, the sea air, the green grass, you know. Mike Logan, say hi to my partner, Ray Curtis. Ray, how are you? Mike, heard a lot about you. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> well, I guess meeting next partner's a little like meeting next wives. Actually, he likes you better than his ex wife Oh, yeah, you don't cost me any money. So, uh, to what do we owe the honor of this visit? Uh, business or pleasure? Floater. Profile fits a hooker. Profaci, look who's here. Hey, hey, Tony. Mikey. How, are you, How you doing, buddy? What's happening? Wait a minute. Look at this. Hey, look hey, at hey, this. hey, come on. Shirley loves it. You're supposed to be getting her to look like that. Yeah, well, we're going to keep trying till we get it right. Hey, say hello to my partner, Sammy Kurtz. Sammy, how are you? Heard you had a hell of a right to cross, bud. Oh, uh, take a look at these. Wow, sliced and diced. Yeah, look this. She had no hands. Mm. How do you cuff a handless hooker? <laughs> how much for a wrist job? This is funny to you? That's my sister you're talking about. This is funny to you? Yikes. Taylor! Miss Taylor, wait a second. Taylor, I'm sorry about that. Is that how you're gonna find Suzanne's killer? No, I... No, I'm making jokes. I'm sorry. That insensitive? Mm -hmm. I need your help. Please, come on back inside. I need your help on this. I'm not these guys. Let me ask you to look at this photo again. Right here. Take a look at that. Nothing? OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you my card. And uh, I'm gonna put all my numbers on here. If you get a thought or a question you want, give me a call about just, you know. Nothing's gonna happen, no. Tell me the truth. What do you mean? I mean, she's a dead hooker. You know what I'm saying? She's a dead black hooker. Uh. How's she doing? You calm her down? She'll be all right. I missed the action, Lenny. Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. Are you kidding me? I'm chasing down stolen lawnmowers. I'm going out of my mind. Hey, Logan. Lieutenant. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, yeah, like you didn't hear they transferred him back to the 27? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Chief O'Brien on the horn. Thanks. Make sure you stop by my office. We'll reminisce. Frankie was just telling us about Staten Island. Sounds like a nice place to retire. He's just jealous because we figured out how to keep the crime rate down. We send all our perps to Manhattan. Well, that's only fair. We send you our garbage. So, uh, the girl worked at the catwalk? Yeah. Mike, you should have called us last night, brother. Me and Pravach, we've been watching the place. Prostitution, gambling, and whatnot. Yeah, what do you get so far in this, anyway? Believe it or not, all I got's a pimp named Seymour Stockton. Oh, yeah. Kingston. Yeah, he works out of the Keller. Yeah, I know Kingston. Why are you looking at him? He's all I got. Anybody here named Logan? Mike Logan? How soon they forget, huh? Yeah, that's me. Your warrant's ready. Thank you, sir. You got an hour? Why don't you come down to the Keller with me? Hooker heaven? Yeah, why not? Come on, Mullen, let's make it a party. Ray, you wanna take a trip? Nah, why don't you spend some quality time with your ex? <laughs> what? What happened? We're here for the detectives' convention. Know her? No. You know what this is? You understand that? It's a search warrant. I still don't know her. Oh, gee. Too bad he doesn't know her. Now we're going to have to search every room in the joint. That could take all night. All night. At our age, it could take all week. Jasmine. Why does she look like that in the picture? Probably because she's dead. Who works nights? Ah, oh, jeez. I do. Pulling double shifts. Why do you think I was sleeping here? You know, they got me working seven days Stop. a week. Sunday night. Was she here? Yeah, Sunday. What about this gentleman? Kingston. He's here all the time. Sunday night? Yeah, he could have been here Sunday night. I don't remember. Hey, 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 come on, come on, get with it. We're having an investigation here. A Jasmine rented a room, right? What number? 25. <laughs> get the key. <laughs> I don't know. Looks awfully pristine to me, Mikey. I usually like my crime scenes with a little blood. Yeah, and it helps to have at least one body around. I'll call CSU. What was the last time you saw a phone in the whorehouse? What's it been, four days? Yep. Well, I can get your prints, but in a room they rent by the hour, any trace evidence is going to be contaminated. <sighs> we'll do what you can, Reed. You're the expert. I remember that song, Must Have Been the Wrong Place at the Wrong Time. Thank you there, cousin. He's always in the wrong place at the wrong time, aren't you, Mikey? Yeah? Listen, I gotta get back to work. Okay, Jamie, come, on. come on. Let's get yeah. back. <laughs> hey, 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 take it easy. You guys are supposed to be forensics, not housekeeping. Are you seeing what I see? What, a mattress? A new mattress. A new mattress in a dump like this? I'm looking for a mattress. Donde el mattress? Room Vicente Cinco. Vicente Cinco. Sangre, sangre. Una señora tuvo un periodo grande. Sida, sida. Díselo. Look, honey, room, Vicente Cinco. Vicente, donde, donde, el mat. So here's immigration. No, 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 don't worry. Was she working here Sunday night? No, Consuela is the day maid. 
Maritza is the night maid. Maritza, you got a last name. Flores. You got an address? Yeah, the plaza. All right, look. Is Miss Flores going to be here tonight? Can I find her here tonight? I haven't seen her for a couple of nights. Usually that means they went back to wherever they came from. Okay, but she is the one that removed the mattress. That's what you're telling me right now, right? Oh, Maritza was here Sunday night, but Consuela took out the mattress Monday morning. You're killing me. All right, honey, hold on. Listen to me. Donde el mattress. You know, you'd, you'd sleep on it. Mattress. Ay, Dios santo. Afuera, al lado de la basura. Yeah, it's out back. So I'd be lying here. Crap on here. Turn it over. Welcome to the crime scene. Rush job on Prince is usually the next day. I just got the damn mattress three hours ago. This is ridiculous. What have you got so far? Well, that you guys need to be more careful. I got elimination prints from that room up the kazoo. Your prints, Logan, were all over the place. I got Silvera, Kurtz, Perfacci, Briscoe. What'd you guys do? Run around touching the walls? Now, if you want felons, I matched 11 prints already, and I still haven't finished scanning them all in. I even took prints off that mattress with an anhydrin. Does that stuff ever work? Well, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. This time I got lucky. So what I came up with after all my hard work was you guys. Why the hell can't you people learn how to handle evidence? Well, geez, Reed, thanks for the lecture, but the prints that I gave you, Seymour Stockton, did you get a match on him? Well, I can't tell you when exactly, but at some point, Seymour Stockton was definitely in room 25 at the Keller Hotel. Thank you, Reed. Thanks, Reed. <laughs> you think Kingston keeps his appointments? He's got to know he's a suspect. If he's guilty, he'll show up to look innocent. If he's innocent, he'll show up to keep from looking guilty. How's that sound? Genius. What the hell is this? I'm no sick. Slogan. I heard they shipped you to Staten Island. <laughs> What's up? We're looking for somebody. I hope it wasn't him. No. What happened? He shot him. Check the Phil Garber, undercover not got it. Hey, Phil. Phil. How are you? How you doing? How's it going? What's his story? Well, I'm having a cup of coffee when this mutt walks in carrying a gym bag, takes out a bowling pin, starts to beat the crap out of this guy. So I ID myself. He pulls out a cannon. I got no choice but to take him out. Yes, me. The guy never meant to kill him. Well, he just came to deliver a message. Who uses a bowling pin to whack somebody? Oh, man. It's Kingston. So what do you think? Is that a strike or a spare? Well, the body may have washed up here, but uh, the crime scene is the Keller Hotel. As far as I'm concerned, it's a Manhattan case. If there's any case at all. Your guy's dead. Fortunately, it's found in the three fires, so you can't lay claim to that homicide. <laughs> Bowling pin? I'm not so sure he was my guy. You're not so sure? No. Well, he was known to be violent. He was the girl's pimp, and uh, he was linked to the scene. What, uh, what more do you want? Yeah, well, what if the homicides are connected? Logan, not your concern anymore. I don't think Kingston killed the girl, Lou. Oh, you too now. What is it, contagious? Look, get everything together and give it to the 2-7, all right? Jeez. Look, I need to stay on this case. 
Well, I'd say a task force isn't warranted in the case you described to me over the phone. Well, then I'd have to say you don't understand the nature of investigation. Do you try to annoy people, or does it just come naturally? It's a gift. Setting up a task force ties up two precincts. To tie up two precincts in a homicide investigation involving the murder of a prostitute... Oh, I see. So one life is worth more than another, huh, Counselor? Don't try to tell me that I'm laboring under some kind of moral dichotomy here. You have an agenda, Detective. Don't think I don't know it. I'll let you know in a couple of days, but whatever the decision is, it'll be what's best for the people of New York, not what's best for Mike Logan. Hello? Hello, Miss Taylor? Yes. It's Detective Mike Logan. Oh, hello, Detective. I just thought I'd check and see how you're doing. Thank you. I'm fine. Okay, uh, well, if you don't mind, I'd like to call you in a couple days and make sure you're all right. Well, I'd like that. Okay. All right, check all these numbers. Love it. Sit down. I thought I told you this garbage case over at the 27, right? Why am I even hearing about a task force? Look, I caught the case. I gotta see Wait it Wait a minute. Just don't rewrite history, okay? I gave you the case. Yeah, I know, and I appreciate it. You think I want to piss you off? Are you kidding me? You piss people off just saying good morning. And we had a perfect opportunity to throw this turkey back across the harbor where it belongs. Let them close it out. The case is still wide open. Logan... The, the pimp killed a girl, and he's dead. It is over. Don't you get it? Look, I don't know who killed that girl. All I'm asking you is just to let me keep digging till I do know. Let you keep digging? You gotta keep digging. You know why? Because you didn't turn it over with her 2-7. That's the problem. And that's why you piss me off. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Get a little of this. That was Giorgio. Pimp's dead killer, one Sonny 10 to 2 Russo. Burglary, gun possession, and a stint for attempted murder. Nice resume. Andy's a made guy. Uzzielli family. <sighs> I'm telling you, this thing connects to the Uzziellis. It could be huge. You know the old man? Don? Yeah, I know him. Why? Frankie Sylvain. <laughs> you grew up nice. Mr. Tzielli, this is my partner, Detective Logan. How you doing? You missing one of your balls? Excuse me. No, an associate of yours, Sonny Russo. He left a bowling ball in a diner. You know anything about that? No. Who might you be? I'm Jerry Kleinert. I'm Mr. Tzielli's attorney. In the future, if you'd like to speak to Mr. Tzielli, I appreciate it if you call me first, huh? I've known Mr. Zelli for most of my life. I can call him whenever I want. What's this all about? A homicide. A dead girl. Our prime suspect was beaten to death with a bowling pin. It's very strange. So what's the problem, Frank? He got what he deserved. Maybe he wasn't our guy. Mr. Zelli, Sonny Russo is a known associate of yours. Now we all know what an honest businessman you are. What can I do? Construction, waste removal, trucking. Sometimes dishonest people get involved in these ventures. Just like in your business. Yeah, but you see, it's not business. It's personal. So us with the sister. I feel sorry for her, that's all. And that makes it personal? What can I tell you, Frankie? You can tell me you know what you're doing. The prints from the hotel. Every smudgy one of them. Are you sure about this? What? Johnny Uccielli was in the room? I can guarantee his hands were... Put 
your hands on the table where I can see them. Both of them. Both your hands. Now stand up. I can't. Why not? Uh -huh. Okay, honey, you can go now. Zip up, genius. She was just checking my inseam. While you're at it, wipe that powder off your nose. This is private property. What's your problem? I came by to give you a ride home to Staten Island. Yeah, what for? Good behavior, soliciting a prostitute, possession, you name it. Kiss my ass. Hey, hey! Get off of me! Get your hands off of me! Let go of me! Punk! You ain't got nothing on me, you hear me? Nothing! You see this? Hit the fair with the business! Get the cuffs off your punk! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, come in, 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 come in. Driving along here in the squawk box, back of him is the catwalk. Mike, what the hell's going on? What do you mean? I told you, we got an investigation going on in this place. Yeah, well, I got an investigation, too. Hey, you're messing up my thing, Mo. Hey, Sammy, this is my thing, not your thing. Huh? Okay, fine. You do what you gotta do. My client's seamstress just happened to be taking a measurement when you came in. <laughs> That's good. What was it you think you saw, Detective? What a load of crap. This is harassment. Why don't you get my old man down here with some bail money? Even if you did see something, the warrant's defective. Private office isn't part of the club. It isn't even mentioned in the warrant. Ergo, you had no right to be there, so legally the cocaine was invisible. All right. Let's forget the whole thing. But, uh... Let's talk about Suzanne Taylor. Who's Suzanne Taylor? She was a young woman who was butchered in room 25 of the Keller Hotel, and your client's prints were all over the room. He's got uh, nothing, Jerry. He's just a punk cop looking for overtime. You got up. me? Shut up. Detective, my client is going through a nasty divorce. He's a lonely man. He uses the hotel for an occasional liaison. I'm sure that if you took the trouble to check all the other rooms, you'd find his fingerprints in there as well. The other rooms didn't have any dead women in them. All right, let's quit playing games. You don't have enough to charge my client with anything other than what you think you saw at the club. You're right. He can go. If you had a good time with her, I hope you used a condom. That's a bizarre comment, detective. Well, see, my victim had syphilis, and she was HIV positive. In this day and age, you gotta have safe sex. Future ex, Mrs. Briscoe. Hey, Mike. We're here, Mo. You get my message? Yeah. Look, man, I didn't want to crowd you. Forget about it, brother. Water under the bridge. Let it slide. All right. Yeah. Same, we got a phone call. Yeah, all right. My friend here a drink. Shut him off. Let me get a vodka on the rocks. Make it a double, OK? A double. So, uh, you come here often, Profaci? No. A couple of times with Sammy. This is Sammy's place. I don't come here. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you, this case is driving me crazy. Mm. Crazy. I got nothing. Night of my homicide, you and Sammy were working, right? Yeah, we're in the four to one. You hear any whispers? Anything? Nah, not too quiet. It was so quiet, Sammy left around midnight. I think he got a call from one of his bimbos. Yeah, yeah cover for him, he covers for me. You know how it is, right? Yeah, I know. Did you get a number? She had my number. That's some suit Sammy's got on. What is that, an Armani? Oh, yeah. Nah, custom made. He always was a dresser.
Hey, it's Mike. Oh, hi. It's not too late, is it? <laughs> well, I usually stay up past 9.30. Listen. You ever been on the Staten Island Ferry? It's kind of like the poor man's QE2. <laughs> Here's the poor man's champagne. Cheers. Don't tell anybody. We're breaking the law. I guess all we need now is a uh, full moon. Champ, let me get a coffee. Not too dark, not too light, okay? You got it. You got soda bread today? Yep. Here you go. Shooter didn't like his bagel. Had to be me. Maybe somebody just got paroled. Hopefully, your record up at 27. Checking perhaps you may have a grudge. Okay. Hey, you uh, have an active investigation? Yeah. Copy me on that case, will you? You got it. Thanks. Thanks, fellas. Only old man Uzielli can sanction a hit. No way he's gonna whack a cop. What about Gianni? My instincts tell me he's crazy enough to take a shot at a cop. Oh, yeah, he's crazy enough, all right. You should hear the way his own people talk about him. Real loose cannon, out of control. Hell, he's an organized crime person to you. A couple of months ago, state troopers picked him up on a DWI. Turns out he wasn't drunk, but his heart was pumping more drugs than the pharmacy. When they brought him before the judge, the guy went ballistic. It took five court officers to restrain him. The judge ordered him locked up in Bellevue for mental observation. No surprises there, huh? Psychotic, violent tendencies. This is not the most stable of wise guys, Mike. Let me set you up with task force protection, all right? How'd they get in my way? What you always used to tell me, Donnie? Somebody really wants to kill you. Nobody can stop him. You're a bitch. I never should have married you. You pig. Get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Get, get off of me. Hey, hey, hey. Are See what she's doing? Yeah, yeah great. Well, arrest him faster. All right. Johnny, you got a minute? What? Just a few questions. You crazy? You're trespassing. This is private you know, property. Somebody took a pop at me today. Yeah, too bad they missed. I want a restraining order against this animal. Shut up, you. I said I want him arrested. You said shut up. I want him dead. Take it easy. Take it easy. Maybe you ought to come down to the precinct, huh? Talk to my lawyer. You know what he did? Son of a bitch gave me syphilis! Ah! I told you you should have worn a condom. Oh, you bastard, just drive away! You can't look at me while I can't look at you! Keep going! Keep going! What's the matter with you? 
with you. We got nothing on Uccielli. You went to his house? I got his prints at the murder scene. How many other prints you find there? A thousand? You go to anybody else's house? Nope. Good. Very good. Good thinking. Lieutenant, the girl did work at Uccielli's club. Not to mention he's a permanent fixture at the Keller Hotel. So what? You don't understand. The pimp, the girl, Uccielli, all have one thing in common. It's called the sex business. Anybody in that racket goes in and out of that sex club and the hotel. Connecting Uccielli with a sleazy hotel, that's like connecting you with an Irish pub. Don't mean you kill the barmaid. Stover. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, hold on. This is Jerry Kleinert, Uccielli's attorney. Two to one harassment charges. He wants to talk to you. You, I thought you had more sense. Logan, I'm listening. Where? I'll be there in an hour. Uccielli wants a meeting. Senior, not junior. Then you go wired. He offers you a bribe. I went in full stereo. Mr. Tzielli, what did you want to see us about? I want to help my boy any way I can. So what are you saying? What any father would say, that's all. You know, someone took a shot at me this morning. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Why do you ask me? Well, allegedly, you're a godfather, right? I am a godfather. I've got godchildren in all five boroughs. There are rules, detective. I don't break them. If my boy... If my boy kills a whore, it's unfortunate. A terrible tragedy for her family. But if my boy takes a shot at a cop, that's a tragedy for my family. I just wanted to assure you that if there has been some problem in the past, it won't happen again. You have my word. Could it get any louder in here? No wonder he works out of a bowling alley. Not that he said a damn thing worth recording anyway. Although he did admit he was a godfather. Yeah. Mike. What? What's up? I don't know who the dirty cop is, and I don't know if he has anything to do with our case. But whoever he is, he's in my old precinct. I might even know the guy. Look, I just thought you needed to know this, because we're in this together. Yeah, thanks. Wow, this is great. Well, at least you're not doing the sister. You know, wait, are you gonna, are you gonna wear a leotard? <laughs> Why don't you come to the theater and find out? <laughs> well, wait, I live for the dance, baby. I mean, but what I want to know is, what I want to know is what are we gonna do after the dance? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this kid, listen, I want to tell you something. I don't want you to worry about anything, all right? I don't. Because I'm getting this guy. Come here. I'm getting this guy. I'm gonna get him. I am this close to get him. And you know what? When I get this guy, when I get this case, front page of the New York Times, Daily News, New York Post, and I'm back. I'm gonna be back in Manhattan. So, what, what, is that what this is all about, getting back to Manhattan? Oh, no. No, it's not what it's all about. What do you mean? You know, if I get the case done, I'm I made gonna... a huge mistake. Don't take it like that. It's not what I. If I get this case and it goes the way I think it's gonna go, I made a huge mistake. George Ann, I'm not. I did not mean it like that. George Ann. Please just let me go home.
There's a fox in the hen house. Which hen house are you talking about? Where's Catwalk? Hey, you're messing up my thing, Mo. It was so quiet, Sammy left around midnight. I usually like my crime scenes with a little blood. Yeah, I cover for him, he covers for me. You know what it is, right? Remember that song, Must Have Been the Wrong Place at the Wrong Time? Why are we pointing guns at each other? I don't know. Why are we? Huh? <sighs> you saw the door open, heard a noise in the room. You're out late, are you? Why well, couldn't wait till morning? I was just gonna ask you the same thing. This is my tour, four to one. One thirty. Yeah, I guess it is, yeah. Well, I stopped by the hotel and talked to one of my snitches. I thought she might know something about your homicide. Did she? Nope. She was in the lockup that night. I'm just wondering why the son had interest in my case. Was trying to help, brother. Okay, Sammy. You mind if I uh, run something by you then? Shoot. Yeah, I don't mean that literally. <sighs> you ever been in this room prior to the day we were all here? This room? No, 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 no. Not this one, no. Why? Well, it's just they found your prints in here. Your prints found in this room? Yeah. Lanny's, Fauci's, your partner's prints? Yeah. So what's the problem? You left around 5.15, was it? Yeah, 5. 5.15, something like that. Me, Brisco, Fauci drove back to the house. Where's this going? No, I'm, I'm just running the scene through my head. You know how that is. Yeah, I know how it is. Hey, Mike! What are you doing here? Buddy, listen, What's I happening? need some help on something. You got a minute? Yeah, yeah, come on in, come on in. Shirley! Hey, <laughs> jeez, I haven't <laughs> seen you since... What? Three years ago, Fourth of July. Yeah, I've been overseas. <laughs> you look great, kid. Oh, Mike. Yeah, she does, doesn't she, huh? Yeah. You see the glow? Yeah. Do you see the glow? <laughs> sure. Guess what we found out last night, huh? You're pregnant? <laughs> yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Nice. Is it gonna kick? No, Mike, they don't kick at five weeks. <laughs> Did he do that to you? Mm, get out of my kitchen. Go in there, I'll bring you some okay. coffee. Go on. Congratulations. Thanks, man, thanks. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's good. Sit down. Listen, uh, you remember the night we were having dinner at that joint? I want to check something out with you. Remember you told me that Sammy got a call around midnight Sunday before last? Yeah. You sure it was midnight? What do you ask me this for? I just need to know. Yeah, well, I was wrong. I was with Sammy until one. Come on, man, you told me. I was right there. You said midnight. I hey. remember. I was with my partner until one that night. What are you being like this for? Being like what? I must have been thinking about some other night, that's all. All right, look, I gotta tell you the truth. I have got some very serious doubts about Sammy Kurtz. I don't wanna hear it. You don't wanna hear it? I don't wanna hear it. Did you know that someone took a shot at me? Glad you're okay. But it's got nothing to do with Sammy. You investigating cops now, Mike? The blue wall stops at homicide. Cross my heart and hope to die. You got a problem at the 2-7. Okay, you got me. I had a free donut at the Krispy Kreme. And I think it's Sammy. What? No way. I don't know how, but I think he's connected to my case. You think? Hey, a couple of years ago, people thought that about me. And I was guilty until I proved myself innocent. I mean, why all of a sudden you're busting Sammy's ass? I'm not out to bust Sammy. I'm after the killer, Suzanne Taylor. Sammy gets run over, I'm still making this case. Wherever it leads? 
forever. You ever hear of loyalty, Mike? <laughs> loyalty? Oh. Oh, let me get this right. <laughs> Lenny Briscoe lecturing me on loyalty. You know, I didn't hear much from you when I took that ride out to Staten Island. Hey, you slugged a politician. What the hell was I supposed to do? I don't know. You tell me. What, if you, you decide to jump off a bridge, I'm supposed to go in after you? Oh, Mike Logan's drowning. Get Briscoe, the lifeguard. Uccielli's got a cop on the payroll. Guess who wears expensive suits? The kind that detectives like you and me can't afford. Sammy, I go by the Keller last night. Guess who shows up after his tour? Sammy, the night Suzanne Taylor was killed? Guess who gets a call and leaves his post at midnight? Sam. Yeah. There's no phones at the Keller in the rooms. So I couldn't check the phone records, but I did check the incoming calls to the 27. Guess whose cell phone number shows up on the caller ID that night? Gianni Uccielli. I mean, you tell me, Lenny. Uccielli, Sammy, my victim, the pimp, the pimp's killer. Why do they all seem to be connected? You with me on this? Do it right, and I'm with you. You dive off a bridge, you hit the water alone. Great way to start the day. First, I get a call from Internal Affairs telling me they want to interrogate my officers. Then I find out you've known for months there was a dirty cop on my watch, but you didn't tell me, you told him. Well, that's because... Sammy Kurtz is one of the finest officers who ever served under me, and I have not heard one thing this morning that changes my opinion. Hey, I don't have an opinion on Sammy Kurtz. I'm just working a case. Look, you know the guy. I don't. So, could be that you're too close to him. Maybe I have a clearer take on him than you do. Mm-hmm. Maybe you do. Or maybe it's just that you're still as self-obsessed as you always were. <clears throat> she seems like a nice lady. IAB is not going any further with the wires. They want to start the interrogations tomorrow. They figure they can ferret out the cop by sweating the whole precinct. IAB comes in. I'm out of the picture. Well, you say that like it's a bad thing. Oh, come on. You don't really want to bust a cop in your old precinct, do you? Look, if Sammy Kurtz is involved in this thing, let IAB do the dirty work. Case gets solved. What difference does it make who solves it, right? Right? You know what it's been like for me the last three years? Okay. Now I get it. If I ever want to get back to Manhattan, I need to get credit on this case. IAB is meeting me at the 27 tomorrow at 4. They want to hit the night guys first. I can tell them I can't make it till 4.30, Mike. That's the best I can do. Thank you. Now, meanwhile, I got a bigger pain in the ass. I still got one tap working at the Hunt and Fish Club. Now, three years of listening to Goomba gibberish. And last night on the wire, I hear something that I have never, ever heard before. A sanctioned hit ordered by the old man himself on a woman. And we're trying to locate her now. It's a uh, Maria, Marissa. Maritza Flores. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You're the psychic detective. She works as a maid at the Keller Hotel. She might be a witness to the murder of Suzanne Taylor. Well, she's about to be a witness to another murder. Her own.
thought you got a minute. Why? Come on, let's go somewhere private. I gotta call you back. Yeah, let's go in the back. Private enough for you? What's up? I just left Reed over at forensics. We we're looking at the prints from the killer. Did I tell you that uh, Reed even got the prints off the mattress my victim was killed on? Yeah, well, that Reed's a real lab rat. Yeah. Your prints, my prints, Frankie's. They were all illumination prints. Reed wasn't too happy. She said we should be more careful at a crime scene. Maybe we better go back to the academy, huh? We were all in that room together at the hotel. So I wasn't even thinking about elimination prints until last night. You know, I was concentrating on the prints that didn't belong to us. So then I get the elimination prints. And there it is. Name, Profaci. Print location. Mattress. I don't follow. So I touched a mattress. No, you didn't, Tony. Wait a minute. You telling me I didn't touch a mattress? Huh? You so damn sure I didn't touch a mattress? Were you watching me every second? The mattress on the bed was new. The mattress I'm talking about. The one Suzanne Taylor was murdered on. We found outside the keller behind a dumpster. Miss it up. You want to tell me what your prints are doing on a mattress we found after you left? Internal Affairs is going to be here any minute. They don't have a name, but they got a tape. There's a lot of talk on that tape about a dirty cop in the 2-7. What they don't have is the cop's print on a mattress. I used to run into old man who'd see Elliot Al's clam bar. Cops and wise guys. All like rats in the same maze. We eat in the same restaurants, hang out in the same bars. Sleep with the same women. So one day the old man asked me to fix a speeding ticket for Johnny. Next day I I get a little envelope in the mail. No return address. 300 cash inside. All of a sudden I'm looking out for this kid like he's my own brother, Mike. So IAB catches your hand in the till. A lot of cops have been caught with their hand in the till, but not a lot of cops have been caught killing a pregnant woman. I didn't kill her. I'm listening to you. But Johnny was always small stuff. Until I walked in the room that night. Kingston had brought the girl over to the hotel. Kingston there too? No, no. No. Just Johnny. <laughs> he was standing there by the bed. He was, he was covered in blood. I says, Johnny, what the hell are you doing? He says to me, the bitch wouldn't get an abortion, so I gave her one. He told me he'd kill me if I didn't help him get rid of the body. Yeah, I believed him after what he did to the girl. Anyway, I, I was already in so deep. The girl was already dead. Johnny cut her hands off. Crazy bastards had no cops to go to the trouble of IDing a hooker. I couldn't believe it when I saw the sister here. You know, for, for a minute, I thought that God Almighty Perfacci, 
Of all the cops I ever knew, you're the last I figured would even take a cent. I'm looking at Sammy Kurtz the whole time. Hey, you know me. You know I never would have done something like that. You so you tell me why. Shirley and me, we wanted to have kids, but she she couldn't get pregnant, so we tried the uh, in vitro fertilization. That's 12 G's a pop. Insurance don't cover it, so we had to use our savings. The first one didn't take. You see the irony here, Mike? I'm helping to get rid of a dead girl with a dead fetus. <laughs> and the only thing that I... Me and Shirley want... <clears throat> is a child. Okay. Without those prints, worst case, you do three to five. What? Suppress evidence. And they're elimination prints. Nobody would catch it. It's over, Mike. Hey, Profach. You die? How you doing? I had better days. Yeah, me too. So who's out there? Internal Affairs is on the way. A real parade, huh? All for me. Let's give him a couple of minutes. All right, that's it. Maybe you'll remember something tomorrow. Doubt it. We'll be in touch. Here he goes, 718. To tell you the truth, I don't know what to say. That makes two of us. Yeah? yeah? Good, because we got somebody to bring in, too. Let me have the keys. Son of a bitch, that's him. Embarrassing. We just lost a guy on Staten Island. No, you were driving. You lost a guy on Staten Island. Well, I mean, it's your island. I don't know these back roads. You don't even know the main roads. 
He, he was stabbing her, even though she wasn't moving. Tell Mr. Kleinart that it's Detective Mike Logan no. and that it's very urgent. The man in the room. Do you see his picture on this page? That, that's the man. This one? Yeah, yeah, Hold that's it. the man. Sure. One moment. No, I'm positive. We got him? Yeah, absolutely. Mr. Kleinart. He's a very this bad man. Detective Mike yeah. Logan. And at this very that. moment, I'm taking a statement from a God, witness who will testify that she saw your client murder Suzanne Taylor. That's we'll correct. Take care of you. Don't worry about that. That's correct. That's what we're here for. We'll be there. We just got an invitation to the house of Don Giancarlo Uccielli. It's all right, John. No, it's not all right, Pop. What are you doing? You, you, you invite a cop into your house, and you tell me I got to talk to him? What is this, the 50s? It's the 90s. You got to be tough with these pigs. You understand me? Jerry, you tell him. You're the consigliere. You tell him, will you? Hey, you. You. Don't push me. You understand? Don't push me. Johnny. What? Listen. Come on. What do you want? John. It had to be done. What? What are you talking about? What had to be done? Seen that old bastard. You read on your own son? God! Come on! Yeah, no problem. Mike. Mike. We got the guy. I thought you'd like to know that. I heard about it. Turns out it was somebody she knew. I hope this gets you back to Manhattan. Yeah, well, you never know about that kind of thing, so... Good night, Mike. Good night. tonight as police arrive to arrest Gianni Uccielli of Staten Island for the stabbing death of an exotic dancer, Uccielli shot and killed his father, reputed mob boss Giancarlo Uccielli. Mayor Giuliani called for a probe into the botched bust, but tempered his criticism by praising the citywide task force which had been formed to handle the case. And he emphasized that an investigation of this magnitude required the efforts of not just one police officer, but of everyone on the department. Tonight, the mystery behind thousands of abductions will be solved in one unprecedented television event. The 4400, our home. Some of them have been gone 60 years. None of them have any memory of what happened. Can I help you? It's mommy. Don't miss the most dramatic television event of the summer. The 4400 premieres tonight at 9, only on USA. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. That's the doink doink. <laughs> the gavel of the judge. Some kind of collective unconscious universal sound. Wow. Do it again. Ching ching. SVU on USA.